So here's the code for doing forward substitution to solve a lower triangular linear system. In MATLAB, every function has to start with the word function. And then after that come one or more output arguments, then the name of the function, and then you have one or more input arguments. So in this case, the lower triangular L and the vector B are the inputs, and X is the output. In green here we have comments. These serve to document the function. And then we get to the body of the function here. The first two statements are pretty simple. This loop here tells us that we're going to iterate on the rows starting at row 1 and going up through row n. The only other part of this that's a little bit mysterious looking is this little product here. So let's break down what these two things are. So this x part here, this is a way of getting a subvector out of x. It's elements 1 through i minus 1. And since x we set up as a column vector in the second line, that means that this will also be a column vector of length i minus 1. Now the L part, that's also extracting a subvector. In this case, it's from the matrix L in row i, columns 1 through i minus 1. So that has the shape of a row. So what we really have is a row vector of length i minus 1 times a column vector of length i minus 1. That's an inner product, with the result being the number, which, if you go back and look at the formulas, is exactly what we're supposed to subtract from bi in order to solve for xi. Here's the code for backward substitution. It's very much the same. The main difference that you'll see is in the for loop here, we are starting at row n, going down by negative 1, and ending with row 1. But this product here, once again, is an inner product.